Hey guys, so my next book here is called Animal Armor. It is a National Geographic book written by Laura Marsh. Hmm, do y'all know what the word armor means? So how many of y'all know what a knight is? The guy that's got a sword, you know, the guy with the sword and he's got the little helmet on and he's covered in metal, right? Well, that stuff that's covered, that the metal stuff that's on him is, is called armor. It helps protect him from, uh, from whenever he goes into battle, right? So animals have some armor too. Did y'all know that? Pretty interesting. Animal armor. A cover of armor. These lions are hungry. They want to eat this porcupine, but they know to beware. The porcupine has, has body armor. Some animals have spines, others have hard shells, and some have thick, bumpy, bumpy skin. Body armor helps keep animals safe. Sharp spines. Would you want to touch these animals? Probably not. Each spine is sharp and pointy. Spines tell a predator to back off. Sharp spines are painful. Yeah, I bet they are, huh? Ooh, I've seen this kind of spider around here. It is called a spiny orb weaver. I've seen them around in like bushes and stuff. And this is called a spiny, crick, spiny bush cricket. Ooh, he looks creepy, don't he? And this here is called a saddleback moth caterpillar. Ooh, wouldn't want to touch any of them, huh? Lots of animals have spines. A lionfish, which is what this is, have, have a lionfish has special ones. These spines have venom, which is different than poison, by the way. If a predator tries to eat the lionfish, the venom will enter the predator's skin. Ooh, I know I've seen some of these like in pet stores and stuff, but I wouldn't want to buy them. Mm -mm. They could be dangerous, right? Stay away from a porcupine. Its sharp spines are called quills. They shake and rattle when danger is near. The quills can stick into an enemy. Ouch! Well, look, it says these quills are from an old world porcupine. From an old world porcupine have fallen out. So these are some quills that fell out of a porcupine. And this is a type of porcupine called an old world porcupine. Ah, oh, there's a joke up here. What do porcupines say when they hug? Ouch! Get it? Because, you know, they probably stick each other trying to give each other a hug. How funny. Strong shells. A shell is another kind of armor. It protects an animal's soft body. Snails and, snails and clams can pull their bodies inside their shells. They, they can't move quickly, but they can hide. So this here says when a snail moves, most of its soft body is outside its shell. And it says here, these snails have pulled their bodies all the way into their shells. Hmm, how cool. Oh, look, another joke. What is the strongest animal? A snail. It carries its house on its back. Ha, 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 how funny. Many turtles can do this too. They pull their legs and head inside. A turtle has an upper shell and a lower shell. Both shells are hard and they grow with the turtle. The turtle's body is attached to the shell. 
So this here is a western pond turtle. This here is called a red-eared slider turtle, which I've seen these around in like the rivers and lakes around here. And it says, oh look, it says, did you know a turtle can feel when its shell is touched? Did you all know that? If you touch the shell of a turtle, it could feel that? Whoa, I didn't know that. Other animals have a hard covering over their body, of, over their whole body, even their legs. This kind of shell doesn't grow. When the animal grows, its, shells, its shell gets too small. The animal sheds its old shell. Then it makes a new one. This is called molting. Ooh, look, this is a whole bunch of Christmas Island red crabs here. And this here is a dance fly, a dance fly, uh, shed, a dance fly shed, sheds its old shell. So there's the dance fly and there's the, or dance fly, and there's the old shell that it came out of. Hmm, pretty cool, huh? Ooh, six cool facts about animal armor. Number one, most people think porcupines shoot their quills. They don't. Some porcupines have quills that come off when the predator touches them. Hmm, that's nice to know, huh? A puffer fish, fact number two, a puffer fish has spines that lie flat, but, but it can swallow water so it makes the spines stick out. Ooh, so the puffer fish is like the uh, puffer fish that's in the aquarium with Nemo and Finding Nemo. Yeah. Fact number three. Many animals with body armor move slowly. The armor protects them when they can't when they can't get away from predators. Fact number four. All birds have scales on their toes. What? That is cool. Number five. A giant clam can be four feet long and weigh as much as three adult men. Up to 500 pounds. Whoa. So like, take a look at the, take a look at your dad or your grandpa, right? And times them by three. Add two more people with them, right? And that would weigh all together as much as this giant clam. Whoa. And number six. A hedgehog has spines on its head and back. When it rolls into a ball, its soft, its soft face and belly are, stay safe from predators. Huh, how cool. Ooh, super scales. When you think about reptiles, do you think do you think of scales? Scales are small hard plates on the skin. Lizards, crocodiles, turtles, and snakes have them. Scales protect their skin. Ooh, so this is called a marine iguana, and this is a king snake. Now, this is not a coral snake. Remember, um Red, yellow, kill a fellow. Red, black, friend of Jack. So he's non-venomous. Reptiles aren't the only animals with scales. Fish and a few mammals have them too. Ooh, this, the pangolian which is this animal right here, is a mammal with thick, sharp scales. It can roll into a ball. This makes it hard for predators to eat. So here's a school of white grunt fish and fish have scales, right? And here's, the, so there's the pangolian. And here's the pangolian. It says a pangolian rolls into a ball for protection. How cool.
Scales don't only make the skin tough, they also keep the animal from drying out. In hot areas, water is hard to find. Animals with scales need less water to live. Huh, that's an interesting fact, huh? This lizard here is called a frilled lizard, and this here is called a thorny dragon. And that's not a horny toad. The thorny dragon is different than a horny toad. Scales have color. They form patterns too. This helps an animal hide from its enemies. Can you find the animals hiding, hiding here? Ooh, can y'all see them? Yeah, there's the green lizard there. It's called a green crested lizard. Do y'all see the animal here? Yeah, that's called a leaf chameleon. Ooh, this one's hard to find. Can y'all see that one? Yeah, that's it right there. It's called a great rockfish. Pretty cool, huh? Armor all around. Lots of animals have body armor that helps keep them safe. If you could have armor, what kind would you choose? Ooh, that's a good question, huh? Hey, look, there's another joke. How does a hedgehog play leapfrog? Very carefully. Ha ha ha, how funny. So here's a pearl. Sitchil, sitchil, sitchlid. I'm not sure how you pronounce that word. This is a rhinoceros beetle, and this is a sea urchin. What in the world? These pictures show up, show close, show up close views of animals with body armor. Use the hints to figure out figure figure out what's in the pictures. Answers are on page thirty-one. Ooh, so do you remember what kind of body armor this is? It says the hint is a porcupine rattles these when danger is near. Yeah, they're called spines. Ooh, look at the cicada here. It says to shed a shell and to shed a shell and grow a new one. Do y'all remember what that? what that is called. It's called molting, right? Number three, this animal has spines only on its head and back. What does that look like to y'all? Yeah, it's a hedgehog, right? Ooh, number four, hint, hard plates on the skin. Do you remember what the hard plates on the skin are? And they're called scales. Number five, this animal has venom. Ooh, remember I told y'all about him? Yeah, that's the lionfish. And number six, this animal has an upper and lower shell. What does that look like to y'all? A turtle, yeah. And that's the end of the story. Anyways, I hope y'all learned a lot about animal armor. Uh, what would your animal armor be if y'all could choose? Share, please share with me, okay? Anyways, I hope that y'all are having a lovely day. I send my love to y'all. Remember the class rules. Love yourself. Love others. Bye.